I don't feel that I've honed in on this. A lot of people in Africa with HIV. Right. American companies hold the patents on the medicines they need. Yes. Most people in most African countries can't afford to buy the drugs at these prices, so they buy them on the black market. In violation of U.S. patents and international treaties. Yes. How prohibitively priced are the drugs? It costs about 150 bucks a week. Well, that's not totally off the charts. A police officer in Kenya makes $43 a month. Too good in there. This isn't about Sir. profit. This isn't about Sir, profit. Sir, you have interrupted me again. My apologies, Mr. President. How can you tell us this isn't about profit maximization? Why do you sell Emprex for half the price in Norway than you do in my country? I don't think that's the issue. Let's make it the issue. Toby, let's make it the issue for the moment, please. You can't compare prices worldwide, Toby. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. I was the one who asked you the question. I'd appreciate it if you directed your answer to me. President Nimbala, when you sell to small pharmacies, as we do in Norway, a different price is set. Norway. Norway. $10 per unit U.S. My country, $23 per unit U.S. Retail markup, taxes, pharmacy discounts, these things vary widely. Not to mention the fact we don't even know if the drugs are getting to your citizens. You're implying corruption and incompetence. We do have reports of that, Mr. President. You talk to me about corruption. What are your annual sales of fluconazole alone? Billion dollars. I don't understand your point, sir. I think President Nabal is saying there's more money in giving a white guy an erection than curing a black guy of AIDS. Sir, my company has given away over $120 million worth of free drugs a year, including free doses of Zyklosynth, which is one of two drugs in your country curing eye infection right now. They're not dying from eye infections, Alan. Well, they're not dying because of me either, Toby. And I'd like not to be talked to this way. Alan, if it was 26 million Europeans dying, we'd have had a solution yesterday. <laughs> How much would it cost for you to provide free drugs to the Sahelese Republic, Kenya, and the Republic of Equatorial Kunda? I have no idea. Why not? We're talking about 130,000 patients, 200 milligram pills, three times a day, every day. What's the X factor? We don't know how long they'll live. We know where. Let's take a break.